we had the opportunity to video and interview some real good clients of the walking horse industry. Yes. And uh, some of them, we, we talked about their horses and, and we missed talking about some of them, cause, and that's my fault for not bringing them up. But one of them we missed talking about when we talked to this lady was none other than Mr. Trump. And he was a piece of work. Yes. Always in the winter circle. That was a good horse. He was a great horse. And that's, it's just a shame that we lost him at such a young age because he would have probably been a great breeding stud. Because he, uh, as far as the winter, I remember the first time I saw him at Edgar Abernathy's. He was outstanding. Uh, it was in a coat preview. Yeah. Next thing I knew, Molly and, and Taylor were riding him, showing him, and doing a great job. Mr. Trump, something else. We are here in Tunica, Mississippi, and I am with Molly Walters. Molly, I watched you warm up a little bit ago. Which yes. one was it? Mocklin. That's what I thought. <laughs> he, he was looking good. Now, you're going to start showing him, right? Yes, yes. Right. That was always our plan. Oh, well, I always, Jerry and I had talked about yeah. that. I said, I wonder when she's going to get in the saddle. But now, you've shown some great horses. I've had the great fortune to have a bunch of good ones. <laughs> well, I love your mare. I don't even have to. She's Limitless is one of my favorite mares of all times. And, and you showed her for several years. I showed her. We got her when she was three for my son. And um, I took her over. <laughs> and so she's 15 this year, so I've showed her for 12 years. Yeah. Well, you're going to show her in the classic? She might just become a mama. We think we're about there. She's oh, been such a good horse, hey, really a good horse. Tell me about it. Yeah. She's won world grand championships. She's won world championships. I mean, she's been there, but now you and Taylor both have won on her. We have. The year that I wasn't showing, Taylor uh, took her last minute into the canter class. Right. And uh, <laughs> that was quite a trip, getting her <laughs> to learn how to canter, both Taylor and the horse. But now I've heard some good compliments about Taylor learning to canter. Oh, they she, said she worked hard at it. She worked really hard. She and Jimmy uh, had a few moments where uh, they weren't very good friends, but, <laughs> but they got through it. I think they got fifth in the preliminary and then won the... It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, lots of those. Well, Jimmy but, can be demanding. Yes, yes, he can, <laughs> but the, re the results show up, too. So. Well, we got a thing at the studio, Jimmy and I used to talk about, that if you don't believe Jimmy is a great trainer, ask him. He will tell you. <laughs> he, he knows what he's doing. He, he does know what he's doing, mm -hmm. yep, yep, that's for sure. Well, some of your others, Honeybee. Honeybee we're super excited about. We've owned her for um, a year and a half, two years now and uh, just so excited about her future. She's five-year-old this year, so, um, and Taylor's had great success with her. Oh, she And does. Edgar's got her now. The, the Wrights had her first, and they did a great job, and then Edgar has her, and he's pushed her forward right where she needs to be, so we're super excited about her. Well, tell us about some, some of your other horses. Well, back in the old days, <laughs> you know, it started with Queens Adonis, which was a really long time ago, super flashy stud, and then got out of the business for a while, and got back in and got the Who, which I had a lot of success with too. I always liked the Who. Yeah, and now he's standing there stood now, he right? He is, he and putting cash on the line are at Spencer Benedict's. Right. So, yeah, so uh, they're good. Old boys, they don't know they're old, but. Uh, <laughs> well, most most of them don't once yeah. they get in the breeding barn, they, they think they're young yes, again. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so we've also have Dark and Shady. Uh, Jimmy and I bought him back, and so he's standing stud. So it's fun to have him back around. Yeah, he was too. always good yep. too. Yep. But y'all, y'all have had some great horses, yep. no really doubt lucky. about it. But some of my favorite, and I'm, and I'm not Mark One, <laughs> love him, but she's limitless. Limitless is uh, one of a kind. That, that's all we ever talk about. I know <laughs> Tommy Williams used to say, "There's only one thing wrong with that horse." My name ain't on his papers, <laughs> on her papers. Well, we love it. We have three babies out of her so far, embryo transfers, and they're showing good promise. We have a, a weanling, a yearling, and a two-year-old. So. Hey, that's good. All girls. <laughs> All girls. Well, All wh girls. what's the two-year-old? She is Genomite. Genomite. She's, she's been a handful. She's not ready to yep. go anywhere but yet. She's Genomite got a mind good. of her own, just Gen like her dad. So. Genomite is good. I know his neck back here is yes. like broad yeah. buddy jimmy yeah. showed me that i couldn't yeah. i couldn't believe how big it's his amazing neck was. isn't it it yeah. is yeah it it's really is good four or five inches wide <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he, yeah. said, he told me he said come here and look at yeah. this yeah well what are you going to show down here 
Um, possibly Mach 1 mm -hmm. tonight, I think, if we do. I, with Jimmy, you never exactly know what's happening. Well, and he's, then, gonna, he's gonna make the best decision yeah. for you. I can promise yeah. oh, you I that. Know. And then Taylor's gonna let me show her um, a honeybee tonight. So all right, all right. I'm excited. Yeah. I got to go practice on her yesterday, mm -hmm. and that was a blast. So. Well, I love her yeah. too. Now yeah. she'll, in my eyes, she will probably take she's limitless place oh, in the way I look at horses. She's now. got that big, long, striding back end, the same right. as Limitless did. Well, it, she does yeah, a good job. Yeah, so we're super excited to go into next year's show. Well, I'm not going to keep you here. Thank I'm going I'm to let you go. I know, I know, I, I had to talk her into this. <laughs> not Taylor had, her daughter had to talk her into it. Everybody had to push her into it. But I do appreciate you, Well, Polly. thank you. And we thank appreciate you. Jerry and all you've done for us. We really do. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Now, we didn't get to talk about all of them. Because yeah. I, I, when I got back, I said, we didn't talk about a whole lot about the who, we did a little, yeah. but there was other horses that we never mentioned, and I want to go and B.B. King. B. B. King. Now, tell me, right here, Molly on B.B., that's, yeah. that's a classic horse. Uh -huh. And this is just an example of some of the horses that Molly and Taylor have ridden, but now B.B. King, super good horse, super good. Molly will like this one. But another one was Dark Rain. Yeah. We did not, and I cannot believe that I talked to her and didn't bring these horses up because Dark Rain is one of my favorites. Yeah, that's I mean, a good horse. It's it, automatic, ain't that what they yeah. call it? Mm -hmm. But now he, he's, he gets out there and goes to it. One of the best ponies around right now. Yeah, he's a nice horse, I like that horse. He's always the same every time you see him and that head is up there in the air. Oh yeah, Edgar does a great yeah. job with him. But there was one other one that uh, I wanted to bring up because number one, I'm a UT fan. And uh, the other one is, is, is named after one of the best quarterbacks that came out of Tennessee. But Dark Rain, you can't beat him now. I'm not going to let nobody rain on his yeah. parade. I don't believe Molly showed Dark Rain, but now Taylor has yeah. showed Dark Rain several times. He's done great. But right, right here is our World Grand Championship. That horse that does it all now. He does. Molly's got a good string of horses. She's oh, got yeah. good trainers. She's got two of the best in the end. Jimmy McConnell and, and Edgar, you, you can't beat those oh, two. Yeah. She's had world grand champion. Yeah, I remember that Corn and Donnas horse that she talked about. He was a nice horse. Which one? Corn and Donnas? Yep. He was a real nice horse. Boy, he's good right there. Tell me about it. Manny. All of them get it done, but this right here is yeah. one of my favorite. Manny. This one's won in open and amateur yeah. competition. That's a mother and daughter oh, yeah. team. It's gonna, you can't hardly beat Me, now. Yeah, just yeah. tell you the truth, there. They're just two super good. Yeah. Taylor, Taylor is just sweet as she can be. I mean, when you 
watch Taylor ride and, and Molly too. Now their equitation skills. Oh yeah, he sets up on a horse now. Are good, real good. You got yeah. They present a horse very well. Molly and Taylor Walters riding Molly Walters on the entry of Rancho Mirage, California. Manny with Molly and Taylor Walters to the. Well, I'd say they mighty proud of their lineup of yeah. horses because mm -hmm. they've got a lineup that's next to none. I, I, you put that group of horses up against any group in the end. Oh, yeah. And come out looking good. They can almost do a whole room of pictures of the horses that they, the champion horses. Well, that Lord, yeah. They had an Am Am World Grand Championship. You'll be able to see them yeah. ride out with that one, too. So they do a good job. They complement each other very well. Send Taylor down victory lane with a nice round of applause. It's Manny, Molly and Taylor Walters. Congratulations. I had to show one more of these. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm going to tell you, she's limitless. Yeah. It doesn't make any difference. It can be dry, it can be wet. She's going to get out there and walk with the best of them. I can't think of a more fitting way to end yeah. this video mm -hmm. than with she's limitless. I'm gonna bet she's gonna make a great group oh, there yeah. too. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's she's got all the traits, got the size, the build. Ain't nothing like a good bay horse. No, it's just something about them. Yeah. They're, they're kind of, they're kind of special. I've owned one red dirt girl, and and I decided to breed her, and she was she was a great mare. Yeah, and lost her in the pasture. But a good bay will make your day. That's right. No doubt about it. She's limitless, and Molly Walters, congratulations.